sim friends out there this is darth femme attempting to do a stop motion build <laughs> um this was very difficult for me to do because one i really take my time with my builds if you've seen my past stop motion videos i, I try to put a lot of detail at least into my newer videos not so much in my older ones but I, it takes me so long to build because I'm just so OCD and so detail oriented and very anal about my decisions when it comes to decorating and the architecture. So this was a huge deal for me. I was trying to build this so fast because I was so worried about getting a short enough video that people would actually even want to watch and listen to me ramble on. And I don't even know. <laughs> I feel like it's too long still, but I'm going to try and, and we're going to see how it goes. And if you like it, then great. Maybe I'll do some more. I'll still do my stop motion videos because I love doing them, but I'm going to try some speed builds. I do like talking a lot. Uh, I talk too much sometimes, but um, yeah, so let's get into it. The inspiration I had for this was kind of like, like a modern... Uh, very uh, stark, um, clean, crisp type decor. When I made this, I pictured a masseuse living here, someone who works in a spa, and uh, they like just a lot of white, a lot of cleanliness, and um, yeah, I, that that's the kind of thing I was going for. Uh, I didn't put a lot of outside decorations in this and I didn't put a lot of clutter on the inside because I feel like this was kind of like a trial run for me just to see if I could do this if it was possible uh I feel like I sacrificed a lot in this build um from what I would normally do as far as like really doing something funky with the architecture or decor I mean my, the bills I've posted aren't like that crazy yet but I really do take my time with them and I'm always sitting there thinking a lot about them and with this you kind of just have to move pretty quickly i i mean i've been playing the sims since the very first one came out i think it was like nine or ten years old i was young and i mean i am very familiar with building and decorating on the sims but since i've been playing one two and three and four i really haven't been doing anything crazy and in depth like i build like a a house that was usually one level because I hated going up two levels and it was usually just like a box there wasn't really anything to it and the decor was I mean pretty decent but then I discovered this sims community on YouTube and I was like fascinated by what everyone was doing and really excited about it and that's what really got me back into playing sims 4 because I played it for a while and I took like maybe a year or two break and I was kind of just playing other video games in the meantime. So when I saw these videos, it inspired me to try again and really getting more in depth with my builds and um, more decorative, I guess you could say, and more thoughtful about them. So I downloaded that red shelf tool and I started cluttering up my stuff more and you know, I, I'm trying to learn and I'm definitely not the best builder. I have a lot of practice to do. I mean, these builders like at, um, uh, Little Simsy and, and uh, I, uh, Miss Griffey and uh, uh, James Turner, uh, I think they've, they're pretty seasoned at this. So I've never really seen any of their old videos. Um, I should go back and watch them just to see like, the things that they've improved on, maybe I wouldn't be so hard on myself. Um, I'm a perfectionist. I really just take my time with everything. And if things don't look perfect or the way I want people to see them, then I'm just going to delete it and redo it. And that's why this was such a struggle for me. <laughs> so I feel like this is going to be more of a comedy show than anything. Um, you just watching me trying to figure out how to navigate these speed builds because it's just really kind of a disaster um now that i'm watching it fast forward um it it's not as bad as i thought it would be but it definitely could be improved <laughs> um so yeah i that's why i wanted to do a tiny house because it's basically kind of like a trial run and i really really love tiny houses i'm fascinated with them in real life i'm fascinated with them and they 
the game. I've watched a lot of videos of tiny houses that people have done on YouTube, and they're just amazing. And there's so much you could do with a tiny house, even though it's so small. There, you know, the possibilities are just endless. So, um, I've done a micro home, and I've done the small home, uh, but I wanted to try a tiny home on here with 64 tiles exactly I've done the 100 tiles and I've done I think it's 32 tiles so it was kind of frustrating at first trying the 64 tile because I feel like there was absolutely no space when I got to the living room uh so I I really tried to figure it out and you'll see later on in the video it was like difficult for me but I uh since this is my first time I'm I, I I worry about running out of things to talk about because I mean this mo th this video is moving so fast <laughs> that I'm like wait I wanted to talk about that but it already passed so I mean yeah I feel like this is a challenge all in its own I mean doing stop motion has a lot of challenges and it's hard but I think I've gotten pretty decent at it I mean, I know the, the seasoned stop motion builders, are, are, I'm, I'm sure it doesn't take them that long, but for me it takes, if I take a day to build my build and record, yeah, it, it would take a whole day. So it is very time consuming. So I think that's why doing a speed build is kind of refreshing because you kind of just build it and record it and then do the voiceover and post it so it's really not too complicated or at least I thought it wasn't going to be but now that I'm doing this I'm like wait <laughs> this is actually a lot harder than it looks at least for me because I mean even though I'm a very talkative person I could kind of get a little shy even though no one's watching me do this and like eventually I plan to record with my webcam so you guys could see my face but uh it is a little intimidating I don't know why it just is but yeah so let me talk about the build a little bit. Um, I think the bathroom is actually one of my favorite parts because I really love this little sink area. Uh, I love a lot of sink space. <laughs> uh, currently in my bathroom now, um, there's barely any space. So <laughs> my stuff is just all over the place. So I kind of dream of having a bathroom as big as this. And what's funny is, even though this is a tiny house, this is a pretty big bathroom. I probably could have cut it down smaller, but I kind of figured she's a masseuse. You know, bathrooms are important, I think. <laughs> so um, I wanted to have enough space in there. And I wanted to add two doors so it could connect to her bedroom and the living room, you know, for guests. Um, so... Yeah, as you can see, I'm jumping around a lot because I, I just like couldn't, I, I'd remember things like, oh yeah, I wanted to do that. And oh wait, I came across this. I wanted to put that there. So I think that's where my ADD comes in. I am really all over the place because <laughs> now I'm in the, the living room kitchen area putting the door in when I was just in the bathroom two seconds ago. Uh, but okay, yeah, so here we go. Here's the kitchen and um, I really struggled with this part. I could not figure out how to lay out this kitchen in a way that I could fit a couch. And as you will see after I do this, I can't fit a couch. It was pretty impossible, but I guess that's the whole point of a tiny house. You know, squeezing things into a tiny space and figuring out how to make them work. So, um, I move things around a lot <laughs> for the kitchen. And originally I was going to put uh, the TV up on the side of the fridge but I figure that would be really weird uh, and then I was gonna add a divider in between the fridge and um, where the couch is but then I thought that would take up too much space and it would cut off the room too much and I wanted a bigger open space especially because it is a tiny house so yeah here's where I struggle a lot with trying to figure out where that stupid couch goes it was so hard uh, and then I finally was like yeah, I give up. I'm just going to put like a living chair and um, a little ottoman. Um, as you could see, like, yeah, I'm really trying to figure it out. And then I'm just like, I just gave up. <laughs> I was like, screw this. It's just not even worth it. Let's just go for the living chair. And um, I mean, I guess 
it would be very hard to entertain in this house if you want several people sitting and watching TV. So, but, you know, when I, when I think of the sin that lives here, since she is a masseuse and very natural and into nature and stuff, I picture sh- her, her not to be at home much and more outdoor, outdoors and, uh, Yeah, so I feel like TV is really not a priority for her, and that's why I gave her such a little TV. (laughs) I probably could have gotten a a bigger screen on the wall, but, um, yeah, I mean, if she's not home a lot and she doesn't really care about, you know, that stuff, then it's not important to have a big TV. So I feel like she'll she'll just sit there once in a while catching up on her latest reality TV shows, (laughs) Um, which I used to really love, by the way, but I've kind of gotten away from them. Now I'm just on Netflix way too much. It's kind of ridiculous. Currently watching, re-watching Grey's Anatomy uh, for the third time because <laughs> uh, I didn't watch the last two seasons. So I feel like, oh, I got to start over. So it's a little time consuming because there's like 15 seasons. It's a little ridiculous. But yeah, so the thing about my stop motion builds, I get really creative in my stop motion builds. I come up with a lot of things from scratch I like to put things together but I don't know if that's really possible in a speed build I mean I've seen the speed builders do really creative things so I guess maybe I just need to practice but I felt like I really couldn't express my full uh creative potential with this speed build but I did like that little nook with you know, the bookcases with the TV on it and the books and stuff. So I thought that was kind of cute. And um, the kitchen, kind of basic. I didn't want to put too much clutter in it because, like I said, she's into, you know, clean and uh, clutter-free home. I feel like it looks nicer this way for someone who um, is very nature I don't know if that even makes sense but <laughs> um so yeah I just added a couple things and I feel like my go-to is always putting fruit on top of a fridge <laughs> I feel like I never know what else to put on top of the fridge besides pans and fruit I gotta figure that one out but um now that I'm looking back in this video did I put artwork above the tv I don't think I did now oh okay well yeah this might be a little bland for uh the usual builds for people but it's my first time people (laughs) I'm sorry I really tried with this one it was quite difficult for me and oh wait no I did put artwork okay (laughs) I forgot um but yeah I mean basically I this is just a struggle I'm looking back at this now and I'm like, this was such a struggle for me. And I remember the first time I did stop motion builds. Oh my gosh, I was getting so frustrated and I do still get frustrated. And I'm at the point where I'm like, oh, I just need a break. And I think that's why I'm doing this speed build because I just needed some time away from my stop motion, even though I love doing them and I love the way they come out. And I, I feel so proud of myself after I do them, but I'll get back to them. So no worries um, for those who really liked them. Um, yeah, so this little outside area, I wanted to add the table because I couldn't fit it in the kitchen, obviously. So this sim could come out here and eat. I suppose if it's raining, though, that's going to be a problem. Oh, um, I didn't think about that. Um, I guess I could have put an overhang, but this just is what it is right now. I didn't put really that much thought into this, as you can see. Um, I really, I feel like when these tiny houses have a lot of space, I kind of run out of ideas on what to put. I I guess my first thought was since she does work in a spa, of course she had to have a, um, jacuzzi and I dream of having a jacuzzi in my bike my backyard because I really love jacuzzis. They are just so relaxing, even though I always get really dizzy from being in them too long. Um, so yeah, I was just kind of trying to figure out like how to kind of jazz up this backyard a little bit, but keep it simple at the same time. Um, so I do go, yeah, so I was going to use the lattice 
but then I just was like, you know what? I'm going to add in the back what I added to the front. Um, but this, I really, I think I overcomplicated it. I think I could have done this a lot easier by doing it in the beginning at, in the first place. But I think with speed builds, it's like hard for me to like process what I want to do um, until after I build something. And I'm like, wait, I do want to do that. So I kind of struggled with this part a little bit because I had to go in, add a room, then add the fencing and create like a little um, overhang type deal i i know there's a name for these things but now i'm blanking um oh, that's my dog's jingling by the way if you keep hearing jiggling that's him um yeah i i cannot remember what these are called i know there's a name for them and i'm blanking but uh yeah anyway so i thought it'd be really pretty to add that to the back as well um because i know there is one <laughs> I can't remember where it is. You know, I guess because I'm really not that seasoned yet with these builds that I'm forgetting where things are. Uh, I know there's like a white... I've used it in my garden um, stop motion. Oh, gosh. I can't... I'm blanking on the name. Oh, boy. So, anyway. Um, I wanted to add some greenery. And it's just like... I was getting frustrated because things kept like snapping back to the place that I didn't want them to be and I just couldn't figure out how I wanted to lay this all out so it's just like you know what let me just let me just put this here and see how it goes and I was getting so mad because it just would not go in the position I wanted to because if I kept moving forward kept snapping back and yeah I really struggled <laughs> um but I mean I guess it could be worse I it, it definitely could be worse I'm I'm semi-happy with the way it came came out um I think it's kind of cute like sitting you know in the jacuzzi having a glass of you know whatever and you know being surrounded by the greenery in the corner I probably should have added more now that I'm looking at it um I wanted to add some kind of like roof thing with greenery and it just like was not going in the spot that I wanted to go so I just plopped it right there in the middle um, and I just kept the backyard pretty sparse. I, like I said, this is just kind of like a trial run for me and I just wanted to figure it out. So, um, it's nearing the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you do like this, you're not completely, uh, horrified <laughs> by what I've created. Um, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thank you.